Everton has surely now took this game beyond Denmark's reach. He was involved in the build-up, and it was... Away we go then as Croatia kick off. Stanic. Good effort to the far over the bar. Very direct player, Stanic. Plays his club football in Belgium, and he was the Belgian league's leading scorer last season. Already, the referee wants to change the ball. Mark Bettar from France. Perhaps that's on the instructions of Peter Schmeichel. He didn't get his hands to it. I gather he says, no, who's kicking the ball? Not him. <laughs> Bilic. And that should be Peter Schmeichels. The top there by Vlaovic, who came on to such devastating effect in the opening game. Pass two, releasing Laudra. Bryant, this is. Michaels in the centre. And Schoenberg arriving. Desperate defending by Croatia from Asanovic there. And in the end, this is Bilic. Bit ambitious to say the least, then from Slavak Bilic, who has settled so well in the English, hold him off. And Stanic left his foot in there. Yes, poor. We took the brunt of it. And it's going to Ford arriving too. Still now up. Up for Michael. Almost got a clean. Still should care. And he can't be lethal on that left foot. Especially when he cuts inside, the leading goal, goal scorer from all the qualifying groups. Obey, seeking out Jim Wilfox. The header on two, it goes Michael Laudrup. And Ladic is there. Alvic. And Shuker worked it onto his left foot, and he just over the bar too. From Davos Shuker. Well, Denmark are defending very well. They're getting a lot of uh, bodies between the ball and the goal. So the Vilfort, referee was almost in the way. Terrific save then by Ladic. It was struck so venomously then by Vilfort. Open up some space for him. This is Vlaovic. Good turn. Couldn't finish. And he seemed to have completed the hard part. Just couldn't finish it off. Well, it was a beautiful little bob. Vlaovic played it to Shuker. Vlaovic again offside. He wouldn't have counted. Schmeichel making the save anyway. Go on to slip through well. Vlaovic! Down under the weight of the challenge from Schmeichel. And the referee says that's a dive. Yellow card for Vlaovic. I think he was right too. Schmeichel came peering out. Down went Vlaovic. And no question he was looking for a penalty. Schuker. The Croatians beginning to grow in confidence. Schuker! And Schmeichel. Having to make the save. And the referee has ruled in favour of the day. He's produced him in the past, Michael Laudrup. Off to Helve. The answer is no. I've been disappointed actually by the standard of free kicks. Have you so it's far? It's shocking. Shocking. But... So there we are, the half time whistle is blown by the French referee. Applause ringing around Hillsborough. We've had no goals so far, but there have certainly been chances for both teams. A goal is... Well, I think it's going to prove to be a very astute signing by Jim Smith. This is Osanovic now. He's going all the way here. No penalty. I think it's going to be another yellow card, is it? No, it's no, just it's a goal a, kick. Given a goal kick. For a moment there, he was going to uh, caution Osanovic. Blarovic ahead of him. Still Prozinecki, and there was no power in the shot. Well, that's a couple of times he's created chances for himself with very good runs, Prozinecki, but the left foot shot, both. Oh, that's a great through pass to, it could be in here, Stanic. The challenge by Peter Schmeichel, and it's a penalty this time. But the third time of asking. The referee from France, Mark Matter, has pointed to the spot, to the obvious dismay of Peter Schmeichel.
Well, certainly from where we are, it's, it looked a penalty kick. I don't think it... And it's there. Eight minutes into the second half. Schmeichel very unhappy. And Schuker has delivered again for Croatia. I think he only has himself to blame there, really. Suka really deserves it. The Danes have really got to regroup. Uh, that was an early blow for him in the second. To bring on Nicol Beck. He played in the first game, but... Brown now drops with the corner kick. Oh, dear. A waste from Lost. I mean, he almost missed the cop. That was a full pass. Here's Boba. Vlavic ahead of it. It goes Vlavic. Man on the far oh. side and sneaked in there. Schoenberg, sure, they hadn't really picked him up. And the last game as well. He is a one horse of the team, but uh, you know, he could bring a cap there, the goalkeeper. Ladic. He could borrow theirs, I suppose. <laughs> Trouble. Posnetsky with the corner. Vlavic did it. Run, Stimac! Was it in? Schmeichel with the second save. It's another. Dane Nielsen, it was a real let off for the Danes. It goes Reaper off the first. Brian Laudrup in there right at the death. Well, the old woodwork coming into play here at either end. This was a terrific free kick to the, the man at the back post. He nodded it. He could be in now. It goes Boban! 2 0 for Croatia. Zvani Boba! And the captain has surely now put this game beyond Denmark's reach. He was involved in the build-up, and he was there at the finish. He was involved in the, the build-up, and a way out in the right wing there, but he just ghosted past Laudrup, who was standing still looking at him anyway, but... The control again from Schuka, who sees Michael off his line! Such improvisation then from Davos Kuka. Wonderful piece of thinking. Well, that's the best bit of skill we've seen in Euro 96 so far. That was fantastic. Drinking again with such purpose here, Croatia. It goes Suka. Suka, Suka, after. Yeah, he's pleased with his display. Here's Suka. Michael is back in time, or is he? Oh, fabulous goal! A goal to save her from Davos Schuka. He so nearly outchipped him earlier. This time he has. Well, he's in shock, Big Michael, because this is fantastic. It's maximum points for the Frederick Nation and a place in the quarterfinals. The dark horses are up and running now after this second win in the group. So impressive too, which